Hello, my name is Story Wilson with rswsolutions.com. I'm going to show you how to perform an install of the Allcoms software tool. Now, the Allcoms software tool can be downloaded from www.rswsolutions.com. It is designed to work hand in hand with the Allcoms hardware tool, which is also sold from rswsolutions.com. Once you have downloaded the software package, it comes in a zip file and will simply unzip the contents, for example, to your desktop, as I have done here. If you are running a Windows 7 machine, you want to, or Windows Vista for that matter, you want to right click on the setup file and make sure you run the setup as an administrator with administrator privileges. Windows XP, Windows 2000, it won't really make a difference. So it runs administrator. It's going to ask you if you really want to do that. Yes. Here's the install shield. It progresses normally as you would expect with an install shield. You're simply going to move through the different steps of the install process. It has a default installation folder where all the files will be installed to. It's a really simple installation as well. There's only one executable. There's one executable, but there are uh, some driver files. And also, one of the requirements of the install is that you must have Windows.NET Framework installed. The install will check to make sure you have .NET Framework installed. If you do not, it will also perform that install. We're not going to see that here, though. So, the Allcoms project's been installed. Next will be the hardware drivers. So. Just move through the hardware driver install exactly as you would another install shield. And it's going to put the Allcarms hardware drivers in the proper locations. Okay, drivers have been installed. It's going to take a second here to where it's been right. Very good. And right now it's going to clean up some of the install shield files. And when it's done, we can run the program. All right, the install shield is completed. Now we can go to our start menu, and under the programs directory, you'll see a folder called RSW Solutions. In there, you'll see four application links one to install the hardware drivers, just in case you missed that step or need to perform the install again. The other one is to launch the Allcoms project, uninstall the Allcoms, and update. The update simply checks against my website and if there's an update available, which there should be many, many updates available as time progresses, it will automatically install that update. So now we're just going to launch it and here is the Allcom software interface. Um, it already checked for an update, we already have the latest version, and at this point you would take your hardware, plug it into your USB port and plug the cable into a vehicle and communicate with that vehicle. So I'll show you the functionality of the software in a later, later video. Thanks.